Thanks for joining me again, guys. It's Kathleen Hart here in the Little Piece of Heart Kitchen, and we are chugging right along with my comfort food series since it's fall, and I'm just jumping right into all these comfort food recipes. And recently, you know, I was thinking about what's something that I make all the time that is kind of like a tried and true recipe that I can share with you, and I thought immediately of chicken soup. So today, I'm sharing you, with you a noodle-less chicken and vegetable soup. It's phenomenal, has a couple of little surprise ingredients that you might not put in your soup, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's literally so good. It's good if you're maybe getting a cold or you have allergies at this time of the year, or if you know someone who's getting a little sick or feels underneath the weather, underneath the weather, under the weather, you know, make this for them. It's so easy, and literally you can throw whatever vegetables you like into it. You can customize it to whatever you like, and you know, if you're not low carbing, you can add pasta, but I'm not even gonna add that today, and it's literally, it's the best soup ever. So what I wanna do first, before I go through all the ingredients, is talk about my chicken. Now come in and take a look. This is three cups of cooked chicken. Now I just bought a rotisserie chicken, and instead of shredding it, I find that it's a lot better if you cut it into big chunks like this. And the reason that I say that is because if you were to shred the chicken, which I've done before, so this is why I know, and that's why I'm, I wanna like teach other people too. When you cook soup, you're constantly stirring it, you know, and what happens is the chicken's gonna break up and it's gonna shred on its own. So you necessarily don't have to shred it already because then it becomes very stringy. And nobody wants a stringy soup stew, you know. So in this case, I like to keep mine in pretty big chunks, medium-sized chunks, big chunks, and then it'll cook perfectly for you, and when you mix it, it'll shred on its own. So now that we have that out of the way, you know that I'm using three cups rotisserie chicken. We have eight cups here of chicken stock. I use low sodium because I want to salt this dish exactly to how I like it. And then here are the veggies that I'm using today. I have a zucchini here, just one zucchini cut into uh, half moon rounds. Right here is some white onion. Then I have a fennel bulb. Now this is amazing in this soup, and if you haven't tried it, do it. It's just another way to make this soup super hearty. And you can leave the pieces big, you can break them in half. This is like a very rustic chicken soup, and you can use any vegetables you like too. That's why I left the carrots pretty big, very rustic looking, and these are actually baby carrots that I cut into thirds because that's just what I had in the fridge. So that's what we got today. And then I also have some pretty rough slices of uh, celery. This is about three stalks of celery. Now, on to the next kind of set here. I have a bay leaf that we're gonna throw in, the lemon. Now the lemon, we're gonna squeeze a little juice in right at the end of cooking, and I'll tell you why when I do it. We have in here some Worcestershire sauce, some dried thyme. Here I have about three or four cloves of garlic. You know, one of them was a little small, so I'm gonna go with three. And then salt and pepper, because we do need to season this to our liking. So what I'm gonna do, I have a, a big soup pot over there. I'm gonna get it nice and hot on about medium, medium high heat with some vegetable oil in it. And then we are going to start assembling this soup. We're gonna let it simmer and then it will literally be ready to eat. So meet me over by the stove and we're gonna start putting this soup together. My oil is nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do first is add in my onions. Okay. And I'm kind of just gonna be adding in each veggie, stirring them around just to get a little bit of softness, and then just kind of piling them right on top of each other. So for now, I'm gonna just stir the onions just for about a minute or two, just to get them working in there. And then we'll add the next veggie in. Next I'm going in with my zucchini. Give this a stir. Onions got nice and soft. Great. Now we're gonna add in the carrots and the celery. And at this point, I'm adding everything kind of one by one, except for carrots and celery. I'm doing them together because I want everything to kind of get coated in the oil and just kind of start cooking, start softening.
And I'm going to let this cook just for a few seconds before I add in my fennel. There we go. And this might look like a lot of veggies. That's because it is. <laughs> this is a veggie and chicken soup. So we're not skimping on veggies at all. It's going to be a great pick-me-up if you're not feeling well. It's going to be great if you're looking for a hearty, you know, comfort food. It's just great. Okay, perfect. So now that every veggie is in, I'm going to go in with my garlic. Get that all in. Wonderful. Once that garlic hits the pan, it goes right up your nose. It smells so good. So now what I want to do is just go in with a sprinkling of salt just on the veggies. That'll help them kind of release some of their moisture. And then just a little sprinkling of pepper. This isn't the only seasoning we're going to do. We're going to season this along the way and then definitely taste it for seasoning at the very end. This is just to get some of the moisture out and to season the veggies a little bit at this point. So I'm going to go in also with my thyme leaves. Now this thyme, I feel like really flavors this broth so well. And I love dried spices, they're just amazing. So, one teaspoon of thyme goes in. Now that smells phenomenal, oh gosh. Okay, looking good. Guys, we are on our way to having an amazing chicken soup. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with my Worcestershire sauce. Then give it one last stir for right now. And then we're gonna go in with all of our chicken broth. Now the reason that I didn't add the chicken yet is because we are doing so much stirring at this point. I don't wanna break up the chicken. Oh. Can I pour it and not make a mess? No one knows, okay. There we go, all right. So now we're gonna just stir this around. We want all of the veggies to kind of get coated in that chicken broth and then also to spread around those uh, spices that we put in there, the salt, the pepper, the thyme. Perfect. So now that that's all in there, now I'm gonna add my chicken in. There we go. And then I'm not even gonna stir it at this point. I'm just gonna kind of go like this just to make sure all the chicken is in there and underneath the broth. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do, let this come up to a simmer. Once it gets there, I'm gonna time it for 20 minutes. That's all it really needs. I mean, you could let it sit all day if you want to, but you don't even need to. This soup can be done that quickly. So after you know it starts bubbling, I'll show you what it looks like and the right bubble that you want, because you might have to adjust your heat. Once it gets there, I will show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll proceed from there. But this is pretty much it. I mean, the only thing left that we have to add is salt and pepper to taste when we're ready to eat, and then a little bit of the lemon. And I'll show you that in just a few seconds. How come nobody reminded me? There is a bay leaf here. Put the bay leaf in. Done. I turn my heat down to medium. This is exactly the kind of simmer that I want. Now, when you're stirring, if you feel the need to, you should stir every couple minutes just to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom, although it probably won't be. I'm just a little OCD when it comes to that. You just want to kind of stick your tool in, whatever you're using, a spoon, whatever, spatula, and just kind of move everything around like this. You don't need to be stirring like this. We don't want to break up the veggies or the chicken. We want everything to kind of stay intact. And this is exactly what we want. So just chill out for about 20 minutes, and then I will show you what to do next. 20 minutes just like that. Our soup is all done. It's reduced a tiny bit, not a lot, but see what we have going here. It's just super hearty, lots of chicken, tons of veggies. This is exactly what I'm looking for. What I wanna do now is taste this broth because I wanna see if it needs salt or if it needs pepper before I add my lemon. Very hot. Okay. So good, but does need salt. Salt this to your liking, and remember, when you serve this for people, they can always put their own salt and pepper on. 
You don't have to salt this to the heavens, you know. You can just salt it lightly and then let people kind of do what they want to do with their own flavorings. Okay. See how when you don't stir, stir, stir constantly, you just move back and forth like this. Everything gets mixed in, but look at those big chunks of chicken that we still have. This is going to be amazing, guys. I'm, I'm super excited. At this point, I'm going to fish out my bay leaf. I don't want anyone to eat that by accident. And then, right before serving, I've done this with chicken soup for forever. Take half of a lemon for this amount of soup, and I'm just going to squeeze in the juice of half of a lemon. Now, this isn't, whoa, got it all over me. All right, this is not going to make your soup lemon chicken soup. This adds a little pop of freshness, and it wakes up all of those fresh veggies. You're not going to know there's lemon in it, but if you taste it before you add the lemon and taste it after, you will notice a difference. You'll be like, what is that? And it's the lemon. It literally just wakes up all of those flavors. So we're done. I'm turning this off. I'm ladling up a bowl, and I'm going to taste it and show you guys just how great it looks when we're ready to serve it. I just added a little bit of black pepper on top because I love black pepper on soup. Take a look at how great this looks. Nice and hearty, tons of veggies, tons of chicken, nice big chunks of chicken. Oh, this looks amazing. I'm going to dive in. I just want to taste the broth first because that's actually my favorite part. I love the broth of soup, especially when I don't feel good. Excuse my slurp. That was amazing. <laughs> Now let me go in and get some veggies. This is going to be hot, so bear with me. I'm going to get a carrot, too. A little bit of broth. There we go. Oh, that fennel. You know, I had big chunks of fennel, but they kind of shrink up and they break apart, and it's just going to melt in my mouth. I can't wait. <laughs> I told you guys I was bringing you comfort food. And I think I brought it. This is just one of many. Check out all my other comfort food dishes. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you. Make this for somebody, especially if they're sick. They will love you forever. And save some for yourself because that makes a humongous pot of soup. So click on the link below. Write to my blog, Little Piece of Heart. And you'll find the recipe with all the measurements, everything you need to make this at home. Literally, you guys saw what I did. 20 minutes to simmer. That's amazing. And you have this amazing home-cooked soup. And you didn't have to slave on the stove all day. Although, you could tell people that and they would probably believe you. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. More comfort food recipes coming. So please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss them. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy cooking. Happy comfort food cooking.